So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use magic masks to key out a subject and then export an alpha from DaVinci Resolve and then import it in After Effects. Somebody asked me in my previous video how to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this now. Even though I don't really like doing it this way, at least it can be done. I just wish that DaVinci Resolve can export PNG files as well. But with that being said, let's go ahead and drag and drop this to our timeline. We're just going to go ahead and do a really quick magic mask. So I'm going to go here. Make sure my qualifier is on, turn on magic masks, and I'm going to go better. I'm going to swipe her face like that, and then press play. Now, depending on your system, this can take a minute. I do have an RTX 3090, so as you can see, it took a little bit to kind of get it started. But after that, it's pretty fast, in my opinion. It's faster than hand freaking rotoscoping for sure. Now, even though it's not perfect, I think for situations like this, when there's not a lot of movements, like an interview type, Type, type of deal, it, it should work, which is kind of cool. Okay, so the keying is done. Let's go ahead and check our work. So you can see the magic mask keyed it. So let's go ahead and add our alpha, add alpha output. Let's go ahead and click it right there. And that should create an alpha. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that line so you don't see it. So from here, all you have to do is go to your uh, export tab. And then what you can do is do a custom. I'm going to reset it, do a custom. And then what I'm going to do is go to format, go to TIFF, go to, you know, depend on what you want. Let's go with 8 bits or you can do 16 bits if you want. I'm going to do a, uh, RGB 8 bit for now. Uh, we're going to do 24 frames per second. In an advanced setting, you don't see anything here. It's because this right here. So for some reason, the Vinci Resolve only outputs alpha uh, when you click individual clips. So here it is export alpha. And we'll just do straight for now. Video is fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and export this real quick. I'm going to do test. I'm going to browse. Go to my desktop. Create a folder. Add render. Add. And I'm just going to go ahead and render all. And it's going to look wrong whenever you're seeing the actual render right here in the window. But just wait. Whenever you import it in After Effects, you're going to see that there is actual alpha there. Okay, so that's done recording. We're going to go jump in After Effects. Go ahead and open up that folder, tutorial somewhere, T-U-T. Go ahead and plug it in right here. We're going to do straight. Make sure it is 24 frames per second. Whenever you import it, it doesn't go. It's still like that. It's been like that forever. Drag and drop it to a new composition. And I'm just going to grab a picture right here and just uh, put it behind it so you can see. And there you go. You actually, well, it's only an image. Okay, so there's two images. We'll just go time and freeze frame, and we're gonna stretch it out. Go ahead and play back, and so you can see, guys, there is the alpha channel in After Effects from DaVinci Resolve. And like I said, there's problems right here, but legit, we took like one swipe in to get this keyed out. But yeah, guys, if you guys have any questions, again, let me know, and thanks for watching.